Well, they do say that necessity is the mother of all invention. But for Kenneth Kungu from Bungoma County, to invent is just as necessary as breathing. KTN caught up with this 21-year-old who, despite flunking his high school exams, turned to creating scientific devices because he just couldn't resist the urge to conjure up new things. Fred Omulo brings us this inspiring story. This is your Kali electric lamp. Fresh out of high school three years ago, a young Kenneth had to live with the stigma attached to those who are awarded a D- in their final year exam. But the young inventor had a gift that no exam could test or expose, the ability to create simple electronic devices that make life more convenient, a trait he picked up when he was 14 years old. <laughs> In his ample free time after high school, Kungu took to creating a device that refused to leave his imagination, a spy robot. He made several attempts and managed to cobble up a simple system that relies on mobile phone signals, the same technology that terrorists use to detonate bombs remotely, but put it to a different use. Sani kanza kuunda the research, the research I started in 2008, cafe, ni kajaribu in 2009, ni cafe, 2010, ni kajaribu, cafe. Finally, it worked. So, skufa moya tu kijaribu in a fail, unanza kugiva, unanza kufa moya. Just try it. Keep on trying it. Don't just give up easily, because quitters never win. Kenneth aspires to have his creations applied in industrial processes and military warfare. The only platform he was able to get to invent was through the African University of Creativity and Innovation, a fledgling institution that recruits students based on talent rather than academics that is yet to get its charter. This is now the small, small transmitter. Talent and creativity are rarely ever considered by institutions during admission of students in Kenya, a situation that created an army of bookworms who can't create devices that solve everyday problems. Fredo Mulo, KTN Prime.